Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here. And I was playing two tournaments earlier and honestly the funniest thing ever happened. So unfortunately in my first tournament I lost to Pika, but in the second one I kept playing with Ducky and Rafiki and we were doing pretty well winning all of our early matches. And then we went on to face none other than Juan Carlos. And we won set one so we were feeling a little bit dangerous. And then we loaded into set number two, and we saw it was none other than Bridge to Far. I'm sure everyone clicked on this video because you guys know about it, but for those of you who don't know, unfortunately, Juan Carlos, who is one of the biggest, most popular players in the entire world, had a pretty sad set in the World Finals. You know, that, however, <laughs> is not something I would have expected to see on a Bridge to Far. Kit, what is he thinking? And should be adding some decent damage to the same to kick off this match. Halo as well as being tapped up as Luke has been quite accurate there with the help of the damage booster. Nice gadget away as well. Out of the uh, arms there of Juan Carlos. Semantic's creeping falls as well. That poison's gonna trickle down Juan Carlos. Semantic beaming it down. Boss in there as well. Juan Carlos looks like he's pretty much giving up. He hasn't had a look in. Pretty sure he's got zero damage in this game. Almost takes him down and Boss doing a great job here. Jump once again from Luki. The countermeasures are there and it's all humble once more. Control they've managed to gain. Oh. The double right hand side with Colt there as well. Luckily enough Juan Carlos there. But for how long? I'm ready to see a Juan Carlos zero DPS, to be honest with you. The stats are not going to be kind. I can say that for sure. Oh, my word. Oh, oh my word. That's abysmal. What's that? Probably one hit across the entire game? Yeah. I think, honestly, that's probably, like, the lowest stats I think I've ever seen on a world final stage. I mean... So because we already won set one and we were feeling a little bit funny, we decided let's try and beat Juan with Kit. All right, this is set two. This is set two. This is kind of going nice. Each games are going one after each other. <laughs> kind of on my grind right now. Bobby's on the cat! Chat! Bobby's on the cat! Chat! Chat! Oh my god! Oh my god, he's on the cat! On bridge too far! Oh no, Bob's on the cat! So obviously it was going to be really difficult to win with Kit in Heist. We more picked it just for fun because we were already winning and the meme is just so big, so we're like, why not give it a shot? So our strategy, which I think was their strategy, was to go a high damage brawler. So we first picked Colt, and then when they went to control brawlers, Eve and Piper, we said, okay, let's run it down with Kit and a tank. And my job is to just jump on Juan Carlos, jump on their players, help my teammates get up the map, and they're going to take care of the damage. So here I'm actually able to jump on Juan to get my first kill and then I somehow get a double kill. So I'm killing it on the cat, kind of showing Juan what to do. But at the same time, this is a lot easier of a comp to play it into. I just want to say I know this is a joke and it's very important that everyone realizes this is a joke. Juan is really good at the game. You guys can see his fast reflexes there where he dashes away and he made world finals. Like Juan is an excellent player. Unfortunately, draft just doesn't go your way sometimes. And that's what happened. It's a little bit sad for me because the entire year people called me washed when we lost, even though we were just getting out drafted. And now when the teams who beat us win, they got out drafted. It's kind of a weird concept to think of, to be honest, but I'm just glad we got to be one with Kit and Heist, to be honest. I mean, that's the funny part. So again, all I'm trying to do is just run in a straight line. So we get the kill over there by jumping on Juan, and this allows my teammates to do like 10%. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to be honest. Also, something I forgot to say is I was on hamburger, which I did not use a single time. So I would like to play the invisible star power so I can actually go up the map. But I was too excited that I was playing cat to realize I had to switch it. So I'm playing hamburger gadget and I'm also playing plus one. So that was just like kind of an L by me. But I realized I just had to help my teammates get up the lane and our old strategy wasn't working. Big kill there by Ducky because he doesn't let Juan do damage. And because he doesn't let Juan do damage, me and Rafiki just go crazy on the safe. Now, again, they can win this game. A lot's going down. Last second. But excellent body blocks. We don't even let them do 1%. And we take game number one. Now, at this point, I'm just getting way too excited because this is like the funniest thing ever. Again, it's just a joke. It has nothing to do with Juan. I just find it really funny. Ducky gets a really good kill over there on Zar. Zar is supposed to technically win that lane because it's Piper versus Colt, but Ducky's playing it really well. I jump on Juan so he doesn't get any levels and my team can go up and do damage. And honestly, 
I have no idea how we did this much damage. I don't know what Ducky was doing to Zar, to be honest. Like, I was just standing there getting my super, you know? I don't have invis. I'm kind of useless. I was just standing there. You know, we're doing our best. We're just trying to defend at this point. I saw Juan just use his dash on Ducky. I mean, on Rafiki, the Sam, to get that kill. So then I jump on him. We're just trying to move up. Like, we know they're going to do little bits of damage by little bits of damage. But our comp gets a lot of damage at once. So we just, you know, kind of have to get on safe one time. Now here, I was thinking about jumping on Ducky because, you know, maybe I can help him out. He's standing still. I don't know if he's lagging. I don't know if he wants me to jump on him. Zar just, like, randomly curves me out of nowhere. Zar plays Claw, which is, like, very sweaty for Brawl Stars. Is where you play with three fingers. And he can, like, tap that and do that stuff really fast, which I can't do. So, I mean, that was pretty cool because I can never do that. You know, I walk up the map. I'm doing my thing. Ducky's, you know, doing his thing. I have my jump. I don't know where to jump, though, because Eve jumps and all that. So, I just jump in the middle. I'm hitting Juan and the safe at the same time. So, that was kind of, like, the best jump ever. Even though, you know, I missed. It's like a high IQ cat play. I missed on purpose, guys. So, then all we got to do is 3%. Rafiki barely misses. And now I'm like, oh, my God. Rafiki's throwing. Because, like, Rafiki always throws chat. I don't know why I said chat. I'm used to recording... I mean, talking to my Twitch chat when talking about Rafiki. But anyways, we walk up the map. I die because I'm useless. And then Rafiki finishes the safe. And we beat Juan Carlos with Kit on Heist. Now, if you want to know how the rest of the tournament went, we faced second best Tacos and Zulon in the finals, who are three really good players. And we were able to win set one. But then we went on to lose set two and three. Ducky, I know you're watching. You can't draft. And Rafiki, you're supposed to be a Sam main. So how did we lose this set? But we went on to set number four and I was able to get a Frank game in. You know, I just played Frank for the last two weeks, literally. And I haven't played any other brawlers before this tournament today. So I was a little bit washed, to be honest. I thought I was kind of going to get clapped. But I finally got my first Frank game of the day. And it was pretty insane. I mean, second was on Kenji. I didn't really get any scrims in. Frank versus Kenji because I didn't make worlds, but I was telling Genie that Frank counters Kenji and he was telling me that Kenji counters me. So I didn't really know. I haven't really faced up against a good player. I think second played it pretty well, but to be honest, I think Frank does counter. And this was kind of a crazy game. I'm not going to lie. Like this was game three of the set. So we almost lost. You guys can see the ending is absolutely insane, but I step foot into the zone and then I just start, you know, making sure no one else is allowed to be in here with me. And we win by 6%. And then it went to set five and it got pretty intense. I was playing Buster on this map for the second time today. And the first tournament that I talked about that I lost, I actually lost versus Luki Bear and Pika playing Buster on this map. So I was like kind of not happy that we picked Buster again, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna just go with the flow, you know, like new team, new me. And I honestly thought we lost the game here because second had a really good role and I go down, but then Rafiki got Stu Hypercharge. And I'm going to complain about this Stu Hypercharge because, like, that is just way too good. That is pretty insane, to be honest. Yeah, so I started spinning with Rafiki and putting up our Macharino pins that we've won in different tournaments because I thought we won. And Ducky started spinning at them. But second best being the good Daryl that he is, puts thumbs down and, like, Loki team wipes. If Zulon hit that pull, which it wasn't his fault that he didn't hit the pull because the dude died. But if he got the gems pulled to him instead of in our spawn, they, like, low-key could have won this game. But then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna kill both of them. And then I realized I can't kill both of them. So I like fed second best again, which is like, why am I just feeding second? So second played that really well. He was just waiting to pick up the gems and just like run away, but he didn't. And then, so we just took all the gems and we tried to kill them all. And by we, I mean my teammates, cause I had the gems. So I was like running in the back hiding. Me and Rafiki spun because I think he's gonna make a YouTube video on it. And we won and we got like $300, but I'm hoping to make more money with this video than the Macharino, to be honest. So if you guys can like the video and then comment what flavor of ice cream is your favorite flavor, not only will I know you made it to the end of the video, but I'll also heart your comment because that means you're a real one. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm gonna go watch basketball.